Good morning and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today it's tax day. I got my tax stuff, my scheduling book for work, and I I gotta work this morning. Our tax appointment is late this afternoon. And I'm gonna take this stuff out there. Oh, are you tired, Bagnar? He just asked to come in because he was tired. And Strut did too. He's going and laying in the bedroom. Oh. So I had a great uh, day yesterday. Hitting 100,000 was like time to celebrate. And I think I've worked out most of the kinks, but I'm going to do a specific video for the giveaway. Um, so, and I, I actually want to do something because uh, I'll be giving those away. But I also um, think that I need some extra stuff inside. So, I gotta do that too. Okay, I need to get my laptop. These guys, you're not, he's already, he's relocated onto the couch. On that fluffy Berber, huh? Um, okay, so I, <laughs> these guys, they're gonna go outside. It's gonna be like 60, so it's plenty warm. And um, I'll put the boys in the bachelor pad or the garage side yard kennel. And yeah, that's right here, right now. And um, Sage, I'll keep her out of trouble. Um, I'm going to come home before the tax appointment. So, ooh, whoa, maybe. <laughs> oh, and I have some of my very fun leggings on. I'm, I've got those new ones. I love them. And I really, I want to I wanna wear them. This weekend, I've got to look at the weather though, and I've got to go shop for a new top, I think, because um, they've got that blush color in them and black, and I could wear just a plain black top, I suppose, and I might, but I'd like to save them for this weekend because Michael is, we've got a union luncheon and where he'll be getting his 35 year pin. And actually, it was 35 years last year. So let me uh, go get their collars, and I'll be right back. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm leaving Shotzi outside. I've got a small window to mail the packages today um, after work, before taxes and after work. So anyway, that's okay. And then tonight, because it'll be late, Michael can have leftovers. Or maybe we'll celebrate and go to dinner. <laughs> no. You know, ooh, I'm, that means that they're not going to eat till late, too. <sighs> Our tax guy takes forever. <laughs> He's a nice man, but ooh, it's so hard to get through to him how YouTube works and this works and that works. And I don't, I don't feel like I should have to explain it. Just take the 1099 and let's move on. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so, oh, I forgot. I was gonna get my plug for my computer. Um, so last night's dinner was delicious. Michael had two helpings. Uh, there's a little bit left, and I'm gonna save that for tonight just in case he wants that. If not, I can, um, I can actually do a, come on, help me here. I can actually do a uh, pantry meal. Super easy, and I don't have a problem. In fact, I might just plan on doing some barbecued pork out of the pork I just canned up, and there should be a link in the iCard above for that video, how I did that. Oh, it's so good. Smoked and canned it, mm-hmm. Anyway, so we might have, my fixing that because then I don't have a bunch of leftovers. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get sushi this week. Meh. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Because I thought maybe we could go Saturday, but he's got his union lunch. All right. I have stuff to eat at work. So I think I should be okay there. And I have a full schedule. And, um, let me see. And uh, thank you for all your comments on Facebook. I had, uh, I had a, a couple hundred, I think. 
and it's headed that way for um, my uh, video, actually. So, anyway, I'm excited. You guys, this has been just a wonderful ride, and I just, I love it. So, I will see you when I get off work or I'm on a break or whatever I'm doing. All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm home from work for just a little bit, about a half hour. I've got to feed the dogs because we have a change of plans. We need to go do our taxes and then head straight from there to Michael's brother's house. Um, his dad got his prognosis from the oncologist and he wants to tell all of us in person what he plans on doing and so it's going to be a little rough evening, I'm sure. Hmm. Anyway, um, but I got I, I couldn't wait to open this. I hope you don't mind. I, I might. Um, Amber, this was so sweet, and I just I read your letter. I mean, not very many young women write letters anymore, but she wrote front and back, gave me a little bit of her history and. She has an Etsy store to help her pay for um, school. And so she sells some things and she sent me a couple things just to say thank you. She also is a German short hair fan. She has a puppet doo. Oh, and I forgot what's his name, Timber. Timber, look how cute Timber is. I showed Shotzi and she said he's very handsome. I might have to meet him when he's a big boy. <laughs> Anyways, he's adorable. You gotta love a German short hair. I'm putting this on my refrigerator because it's a cute picture. Okay, so, so I had to open it. I couldn't wait. And she sells these and she handpicked these out for me and, and made them. And I love it. Wait till you see. Okay, so this is totally gonna be a gardening shirt. <laughs> I love it. Look at this. Check me out. Woohoo! And I think the size is perfect. She was worried that she didn't get the right size, but um, very soft and flowy. And I think they're long enough. I could wear them with capris. So I've got a KitchenAid mixer there with a gold heart on it. <laughs> and this one. And I, like I said, I think the size. I love this. Can't touch this. <laughs> is that great? And it's all sequin uh, oven mitt. Oh, it's awesome. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. And what a sweet way to say how much you appreciate my channel. And she also, I'm going to tell you, this young lady, um, she doesn't have a grandmother around anymore to learn some of these things. And so uh, she's only 26 years old and she wants to learn homesteading, more homesteading ways, like cooking and canning and, and gardening and all those things. And I think that's absolutely fabulous because there's a big chunk of a generation that moved away from that completely. And I think it's coming back. I know a lot of young women who can. In fact, I ran into one in, in uh, Ross and she said, she's waving at me. And I thought she was waving at somebody else because I don't know who she is. And it was one of the checkers. And she goes, I learned to can from you. I can this, this, this. And oh, she was so excited. So I think there's a, a whole generation here that's coming up that's going to keep this going. And, and who knows? We may need this. Um, you know, back in the Depression, you had to grow your own food. You had to come up with it because there wasn't enough resource. So you never know. Um, anyways, uh, she she told me about Timber. He's an eight-week-old puppy, uh, and she was she was watching my vlogs while I was on vacation. Um, so she uh, that, I I just can't thank you enough. That was so sweet of you. Thank you so much. And I, I did want to say she also watches Heather the Needy Homesteader. And um, Hollis and Nancy, who are gardening homesteaders, oh my gosh. And just to name a few. Anyways, I am, I am super excited that we're inspiring you. And I am thankful. And so, and my Easter card. Thinking of you at Easter, secret sister. 
and then sharing the joy of Christ's resurrection with you and asking him to bless you on Easter and always. Amen. And she didn't sign it. That's all she says. She's my secret sister in Christ. Oh, I mean, that is very sweet. And, and I know we'll meet again someday, but uh, it'd be nice if I could say thank you, Susan. Maybe I'll just give you your own nickname. Maybe I'll name you Becky. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, no sign, just there you go. So that was my uh, mail. And guess what, you guys? Okay, so see this space right here, over here? I might even bring you closer to, let's get your opinion, I think. I measured it because Heather over at the Needy Homesteader, she had just, she just got an Excalibur dehydrator, okay? And she loves it. This is doggy water. Okay, so here I have stuff on the counter. In fact, I don't know if that's for, far enough back. There we go, maybe that's better, better. So from this wall here to here, you know, this is just kind of a catch-all and it doesn't need to be. Like this, I need to recycle. This, I, I got it out for painting, chalk painting project. This can go somewhere. It doesn't have to be right there. It can go with my other canning jar collection. These have been open since, I don't know, Christmas, so. Those can go away. A pair of oddball glasses, I'm telling you. So this is the space where I want my Excalibur to live. What do you guys think? It's off the kitchen, so it won't be noisy, noisy, and I'm not sure how noisy they are anyway, but I measured the space and it's perfect for right here. And I, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll look just fine. I did, I purchased the one with the glass front like Heather's got and I got the 3900 model so I'm going to be getting rid of my other dehydrator. I should have the new one by Saturday so I'll be bringing you along for a lot of dehydrating. I, I've done a ton of dehydrating videos in the past but I bet every one of them are four or five years old. So um, somebody was asking how long I've been doing YouTube and I started May I opened my YouTube channel but I only did it so I could make comments. I My first video was July 4th weekend, 2011. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna clean this space up and get it ready for my new baby. Ooh, I'm so excited. So, you guys are gonna have plenty of new content and I've got some really fun things to do that I've seen lately and that I've read about and that I've done in the past. So, I'm going to restock my dehydrating pantry. And what I think I might do is this cabinet right here, I put canned goods, like when I can something, like I can the skirt steak and the pork tenderloin. I always keep a jar back in reserve here so it's easy access. But I'm gonna clean out this can, or this pantry shelf, these two shelves, and I'm gonna make them strictly for dehydrated items. So I may have to adjust the height on on this one so I can put the big half gallon jars and they won't be heavy like these jars are heavy and they weigh on your cabinet so um, that's going to be my dehydration area and because it will be out and exposed all the time um, I'll be more apt to use it and I said to the girls at work when I hit the button and bought it I said oh, I'm so excited I'm getting my my birthday present early and to myself and they were like, what are you getting? And I told them, they go, what? You're gonna leave that out on your counter? And I'm like, yeah. And they don't get it, but that's okay. They're gonna eat some of the stuff because I've got, I've got a recipe or, or a idea that I saw and I'm definitely doing that one first or second for sure. All right, so I'm gonna get to cleaning, get my dogs fed so I can get on the move and go see dad, see what what we're gonna do anyway um <clears throat> i think a dehydrator an excalibur will look fabulous there what do you think leave me a comment in the comment section and i'll leave you a link to the one i got no pressure they are on sale right now so it's a good buy and um
dehydrating's fantastic. And that, like the All-American Canner, is gonna be the Cadillac of dehydrators. The Nesco's are okay, but they're not fantastic. I, I mean, I have to rotate my trays constantly and it takes it way longer than it should. The motor's at the top, so the bottom trays don't get the airflow they need, so you have to constantly be moving them. And I'm just, I'm done. I'm going to, I'm gonna move on to a new one. So, all right guys, and I did it for you. <laughs> Okay, really quick, I'm, we're back home. It's late, and um, I'm just gonna close out the video after I let the puppy do's out. Oh, and, oh my gosh, Shotzi, you went outside? Ragnar's like, maybe. You, it's dark out there, turn that light on. Okay, so we got home, and here it is, it's dark, and I bungee corded that kennel in the garage, and, the dogs had free run of the yard. You know, I fed them and let everybody out. And, and or no, is that right? Yes. And Shotzi feels like they're locked out because they're, there's a gate shut. Anyways, she, I bungeed it and she opened it. She got it worked open and Strut took the, <laughs> he took the, um, the opportunity. So when we came home, oh my gosh, he's spinning circles. He's so happy we're home in the garage. <laughs> Thankfully, our dogs do not run off. They'd rather get in the car with us than go anywhere. But oh, Michael's going to Home Depot, I think tomorrow, to get a new latches for our chain link. So Shotzi cannot open it or work it till it twists on the pipe anyhow so <clears throat> um <clears throat> i am ready for tomorrow i have to get up really early i've got nails tomorrow ladies we're gonna get our nails did and i've got to figure out what i'm wearing tonight so i just i'm gonna close the video because i know it's already long enough i'm sure because i was miss yakety yakerson for sure and i can't help it when i get presents any of you help it? Oh, I'm so excited. I've got half that cabinet cleared out and I had to stop. But I've also got another cabinet in that same area. I'm going to redo that whole cabinet too because it has glass doors on it as well. And um, so my taller dehydrator jars, I th or dehydrated jars, the half gallon jars, I think those are going to go in there. But I'm going to bring you along for all of it. And you guys can see how I rehab an area that was really pretty useless. Just decor. You know, I think decor should be useful and help you in your preps. And I do want to address one comment that I saw. Somebody said they, they had enough to worry about. They didn't want to worry about the what ifs. And I, I, I think that, you know, a lot of people are going to feel that way. And I'm not trying to give anybody any fear, but we all buy insurance policies. And in fact, today, when we did our taxes, we realized that maybe we should get some insurance and going through what we're going through with Michael's dad. Maybe we should do an insurance policy for um, like a savings account for healthcare. Unbelievable, healthcare is horrible, but you still have to pay for it. And you'd be, you know, a lot of people won't go to the doctor if they don't have health care. So you buy an insurance policy so you feel comfortable and you're at ease that you can actually take care of things. And thankfully, Dad was, he had the foresight to take care of a lot of stuff. So to me, having the food storage and the dog food prepped, it's an insurance policy if we lose our job or there's some kind of natural disaster because just this winter, we had so much snow. We live right against the Sierra Mountains. That pass was impassable several times. And even coming from the east into here, um, my Amazon orders were delayed by days. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They were, but that's why, because trucks couldn't get over the hill or get back and forth. So that's just my little tidbit on that. I think that, yes, we all have enough to worry about, but... My gosh, I don't want to have to worry that my dogs or my family are going to be hungry or, I mean, that's the last thing on my list, right? So, anyways, 
All right, guys. And she did. She was very complimentary. I think it was a she because the pretty picture and the name. But um, she she did say she enjoys my vlog. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, I'm still in celebration mode with the hundred thousand subscribers. At Ragnar, he said, um, "It's time for bed." He said, "I better go get my kennel." Don't you love his markings? I just love him. His markings are beautiful. He's a handsome boy. He's a good boy. But he's kind of the whiner. He's kind of a crybaby. He has to cry about everything. Why are you crying? Don't cry. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hmm? And <laughs> let me let him out. Michael's watching a war movie. I think it's taken his mind off of some stuff. And he's sad. Anyway. So we're going to say goodnight. And I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.